Malta, uh, Vietnam. So uh, because exactly that, so they are now, in, the, in these countries, there's still a lot of people living in extreme poverty. And now in, there's this industrialization happening, which is trying to remove people from those conditions. But the plans for waste management is not accompanying this high, this fast industrialization that is happening. And this increase in uh, consumption and use of resources, and it's just ending up, yeah, like you said, either on landfills or just burning, or, and a lot of it ends up in the ocean. And it's very hard to tackle those problems because that's a core problem of a country. It's uh, something which cannot be changed overnight and really requires action from a lot of, a lot of sides within, from the government, from regulation agencies in the country. I don't know how much power international uh, agencies would have in this, I'm not sure uh, in this regard, maybe some, they could provide some pressure, but I'm not sure how much they could really do if the government of the country, the government of the country doesn't do anything or the regulatory agencies. And that's really tough. And that's something that people should also be aware that not that it's good to be aware that a lot of these problems come from these countries too. And people there for sure don't have the same awareness that here we have, they don't have this privilege of, you know, having, being able to spend time looking up this kind of stuff and educating themselves. So it's, I think it's, there's a lot of value in educating people there and trying to bring attention to just do these issues in these countries as well. Definitely. But what I found interesting is just recently I found some data about the amount of trash produced. And while we, we know uh, these Southeast Asian countries do create the biggest volume in terms of per capita, they're actually on one of the lowest ends of the spectrum. So the reason this data is quite skewed is because of the population numbers. But if you actually look at this, and I'll have the link to this fantastic page by ourworldindata.org, which shows um, if we compare India, for example, they produce 0.01 kilograms per person per day of plastic waste. And then you compare that to a country such as Germany, they're at 0.48 kilograms, so half a kilo in comparison to basically a tenth of that. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fine. I didn't know those numbers, but yeah, that so, um, really surprised me. <laughs> yeah, so it just really shows that you know, even if we are in developed countries, like the U the U.S. here, 0.34 kilograms per person per day, so a little bit below Germany. Uh, other ones which have a big footprint, New Zealand, 0.33. Uh, interestingly. Uh, Guyana in South America is on 0.59 kilograms per day. So oh. they're one of the highest. <laughs> what uh, do they do? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing over there. But um, And then we have a lot of the African countries. They're under um, you know, 0.05. Tanzania, Angola, they're all in the you know very minimal. Indonesia is actually very minimal. I'm wondering if Indonesia would get skewed a lot by the amount of tourists that go there to um, buy, you know, the plastic water bottles and everything to, to have potable water, because there's a lot of tourism in those countries. But also Indonesia has a lot of people, like it's insane mm. the amount of people they have, even though it's all in separate islands, but there's a lot of people there. But yeah, that doesn't surprise me because a lot of the waste also comes from consumers, like just here we have more more money we are able of buying more which we usually do and uh, drive more or yeah. just overall have more stuff so it doesn't surprise me at all and also a lot of the trash uh, ends up in these countries a lot of the trash from europe and from even the us i'm not sure but i know from europe at least a lot of this trash is transported to the southern eastern southeastern asian countries so in the end, they have their trash and our trash. So and they then we say they are the most pollutants, but we are co we are also uh, participating in this. Definitely, I think in in Europe, like when I lived there, I didn't think about it as much, just because when you walk around Switzerland, where I grew up, it's clean. 
you know, so it's yeah. out of sight, out of mind. You know, there we have 15,000 different types of recycling bins. Um, yeah. You know, every different type of glass has their own bin. So you're like, oh, clearly everyone's, you know, doing this. Um, there is no trash, you know, everything's very well taken care of and you kind of get lulled into this false sense of security because you don't have the visions of what the people in Indonesia, for example, are facing every day, which is that pile of trash or the lack of proper disposal. Um, and a lot of places, you know, I've, I've spoken to the people and they just say, oh, we just don't have an option 